I've received a number of requests for a video on how to install Windows 11 to a Raspberry Pi 5, so that's what I'll demonstrate in this video. Installing Windows to a Pi 5 isn't going to be for everyone, and there is very limited driver support for the Pi 5. Drivers that take advantage of the Pi 5's GPU, built-in networking, and audio through the HDMI port are not yet available. However, we'll explore some workarounds for some of these. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. We'll start by having PyOS Desktop installed to a microSD card. If you're not sure how to do that, please check out the video linked above. It'll guide you through the process in full detail. I have a 250 gigabyte SSD connected to the blue USB 3.0 port on the back of the Pi 5. In this video, I will install Windows 11 to that SSD drive. SSDs are faster and more reliable than microSD cards. Keep in mind that Windows 11 on the Pi 5 currently lacks some rather important drivers for Wi-Fi, networking, audio, and others. However, we will be able to install the base operating system itself to the SSD. We'll open a browser and search for WAR, W-O-R, Flasher. I'll place a direct link to the GitHub page below. If we scroll down a little ways, we'll see that the version of Windows that is being downloaded is coming directly from Microsoft's update servers, and it's 100% legal. As the version of Windows we install is a new copy that isn't activated, some options may not be available to you without activating the license. There is a lot of helpful information here. One that you may want to keep an eye on periodically is this page that states that WAR does not currently support Wi-Fi as the drivers don't yet exist. Visiting that page will let you know what drivers exist, their status, and additional information about them. Now, let's begin the installation process. Going back to the previous page, if we scroll down a little further, we'll find the War Flasher walkthrough. This process is very easy. Just click the copy button to the right of the git clone command to copy it to the clipboard. Click the terminal icon at the top and right click the mouse inside the terminal window and select paste. Then simply press enter. The War Flasher code will then be copied to your Pi. Scroll down a little bit further and we'll find the War Flasher graphical interface command. Again, copy the icon on the right of the command, go back to the terminal window, right click and select paste, then press enter. A new window will then appear for installing windows to your Pi. I'll minimize these other windows so it's easier to see. From the left drop-down, you can select the operating system to install to the SSD, such as Windows 11 or Windows 10. On the right, you'll select the model Pi that you'll be using. In this case, I'll be using a Pi 5. Then click Next. Here you'll select your language. There are a number of languages available, but I'll stick with EN-US and click Next. You'll now be prompted where you would like to install Windows. I'll be using the 250 gigabyte SSD, so I'll leave it at the default selection. Keep in mind everything on that drive will be erased, so make sure you select the correct drive and then click Next. You'll then see the installation overview, allowing to review all of your selections. Also, if you click the link beside the editconfig.txt, you're able to overclock the CPU. Overclocking can increase the performance. However, for this video, I'm not going to overclock the CPU and just close out of the editor. At the bottom, you'll be warned that all data on the target drive will be deleted. If you click the Advanced button, you'll see where the War Flasher will download the installer, drivers, the UEFI package, and Windows image. Go ahead and click Cancel here. Now, if everything looks good, click the Flash button. The installation script will then begin downloading all the components required and copy the files to the SSD. This process took around 7 minutes and 28 seconds. If everything goes well, you'll see this screen. It will prompt you to boot Windows, 
and that the war installer will begin extracting Windows. It will then reboot and you should have Windows running on the Pi. I'll click close here, then click log out and shut down to shut down the Pi. I'll now remove the micro SD containing Pi OS and just as a refresher, I have the SSD drive installed in this cartridge shell and plugged into the adapter and the USB cable into the Pi 5 USB 3.0 port. I'll now power on the Pi 5. The installer for Windows will then start up. Here you can select the edition of Windows that you want to install, such as Windows 11 Home or Professional. I'll select Windows 11 Home, then click the Install button. The install process will take about 28 minutes and 54 seconds, at least it did on my Pi 5. I'll skip forward to the end. The Pi will then restart and the Windows 11 setup wizard will appear. Select the country or region and click yes. Select the keyboard layout and click yes. Click skip to skip a second keyboard layout. Now at this point, the network driver isn't available, and since no driver currently exists for the Ethernet adapter in the Pi 5, clicking the Install Driver button won't be much help. There was no other option to proceed without a network connection. To get around that, press and hold Shift and the F10 key on the keyboard. You'll then see a command prompt appear. Type OO, letter O, B E, backslash, B Y, P-A-S-S-N-R-O, Bypass N-R-O, and press Enter. The Pi 5 will then again reboot. After the reboot, the Pi 5 will return to the setup wizard. Again, select your country or region and click Yes. Select the keyboard layout and click Yes. Skip on the second keyboard layout. For the network setup, you'll now see an option stating, I don't have internet. Click that. And now you can read and accept the license agreement. Enter your name and password for logging into Windows. Select three of the security questions and enter the answers. I chose to disable all the privacy settings. That's totally up to you. Once done, click accept. After about another minute and a half, Congratulations, you just installed Windows on your Raspberry Pi. In the next segment, we'll take a look around and see if we can get some additional features working. Next, we'll take a look at Windows on the Pi. After the Windows 11 installation completed, I wasn't able to get internet access working with the built-in Ethernet port on the Pi 5. I then tried about four USB Wi-Fi adapters that I had on hand and a couple that I purchased for this video, but none of the ones I tried worked for me. However, this Ugreen Gigabit Ethernet to USB 3.0 adapter did work, and it was basically plug and play as you would expect. While I was happy to get internet access working, it does require a wired Ethernet connection, and not everyone is going to have easy access to an Ethernet cable nearby. So that is something to consider if you're going to attempt this. After connecting the adapter and an Ethernet cable, I did what many people do and download the Chrome browser. <laughs> I then navigated to my website, wagnerstechtalk.com, and the web browser performed pretty good. However, where things didn't go well is with YouTube video playback. There were a couple issues here. First off, there was no audio. Second of all, due to there being no GPU acceleration, when Stats for Nerds was turned on, about a quarter of the frames were being dropped when playing a video at 1080p 60fps in full screen. While the video was still playable, the lack of audio going through the HDMI was a bit of a bummer. It was at that point I remembered I had purchased a Sound Blaster Play 3 USB adapter and figured I'd give it a try. It will require a 3.5mm cable going to external speakers or a pair of headphones, but this adapter did work. I tested it with a few speakers that I had on hand, and the adapter worked well with both of them. This UNTS 
Angle 3 speaker sounded the best out of the two I tried. I'll place links to everything I used below. I then went back to the YouTube video and playback was now working with audio. Transportation and society. Now imagine something. After installing Windows 11 to the Pi 5, it isn't activated. While you don't necessarily need to activate it for most features, I had an extra license I'd purchased a few years ago for Windows 11 Pro. I went into settings, clicked the activate now link, selected change on the product key, and entered the new key. Windows 11 then restarted and added all the features for Windows 11 Pro. This demonstrates that you can, if you want, activate Windows. Again, for most things, it's not a necessity. I did install some applications to see how they perform. I started with OpenOffice, which is a nice office suite for multiple operating systems, and it can be downloaded from openoffice.org. It has a document, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, and other Office applications that you may find helpful. This application performed well in my limited testing. And while I was able to install Steam and installed a few games to try out, Without the proper drivers for the Pi 5, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. If you're expecting to play some even low-end Steam games on the Pi 5, you may want to hold off until more drivers, particularly for the GPU, become available. When the Raspberry Pi starts up, you can press the Escape key to enter the setup. I didn't find any changes that need to be made, but the option is there if you want or need to make any adjustments. Once done, Select Continue to resume booting in Windows. If we open Task Manager, we can see the CPU utilization is relatively low, around 3% during idle. The Pi 5 that I'm using here has 4GB of RAM, which is the bare minimum for Windows 11. If you decide to install Windows 11 to your Pi 5, I'd recommend the 8GB version instead, as only 2.1GB of RAM are available while Windows is running. I also installed Geekbench 6.3, and the single core score was 798, while the multi core score was 1742. I think as Windows on the Raspberry Pi matures, this could be a very interesting option in the future. As it is currently, it requires additional hardware for networking and audio. In time, this may be a more compelling option for a budget friendly Windows computer. What do you think of Windows on the Raspberry Pi 5? Have you installed it? If so, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button to let me know. There is much more Raspberry Pi 5 content on my website, including more information about Windows 11 on the Pi 5. I think you'll find more content there to make using your Pi 5 even more enjoyable. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel your support is always appreciated. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.